Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com for premium picks, free premium picks. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there. Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Well, the rumor is that Floyd Mayweather is going to fight Marcus Maidana in a rematch this September. I'm disappointed. I view the rematch as a joke. I thought Floyd Mayweather, after the first four rounds, dominated the last fight. I'll concede. I was in a venue where a lot of the people were cheering for Marcus Maidana, and I'll tell you, as I make this video, I was puzzled then, and I'm puzzled now. Folks, the fight wasn't that close. When they're in the middle of the ring, it's a mismatch. When they're at the side of the ring, Marcus Maidana had to resort to things like low blows just to keep it competitive. Right? Let's just say when they're over at the side of the ring, it's because Floyd Mayweather wants to be over at the side of the ring. And when they were over there, Marcus Maidana could not hit him in the head. Right? Understand. A counterpuncher like Floyd is most vulnerable early the first time you fight him. Because Floyd is figuring out the angles. And... A fighter like Marcus Maidana is unorthodox. He's awkward, so the angles aren't traditional angles. Guess what? The training wheels are off now. Floyd Mayweather figured out the angles and then proceeded to dominate the fight. Folks, the only reason the last fight went the distance, and I mean the only reason, is because Marcus Maidana takes a punch. Take a look at the body work. Forget the headshots Floyd landed. And Floyd landed several flush. Just look at the body work. Floyd riddles Marcus Maidana's body. Right? Maidana gets hit with several withering body shots. So, as soon as this fight's announced, as soon as they post a betting line on this fight, understand, hardcore gamblers bet early, then they come back and bet late. Right? What you need to think about doing is putting money on Floyd Mayweather immediately. I would even add a little kicker on Mayweather by KO. Understand, Mayweather has more time in this fight because the first fight, he was figuring out Maidana early. Weren't those Maidana's best rounds, the very early rounds? The puzzle's been solved now. This fight's a walk in the park. Let me also throw a red flag on this fight. This fight deserves a red flag. Right? I understand it's prize fighting. I understand Floyd wants to make the people at Showtime happy. I understand they got about 900,000 viewers last time, which is good in this economy, right? I also understand that there's folklore involved where people are looking at Marcus Maidana and they're saying, oh, gee, you know, he looked good against Floyd in the first round. Uh, he has a punch. He looked good against Broner. Um, he's a credible opponent. Okay, fair. The boxing hardcore knows he's not a credible opponent. This is a mismatch. Now, there are too many credible opponents out there. Why isn't Floyd fighting Keith Thurman? I understand. Amir Khan has Ramadan. Okay, fair enough. But why isn't Floyd fighting Keith Thurman? Isn't Floyd here fighting the wrong Argentinian? Shouldn't he be fighting Lucas Matisse? Even that's a more credible opponent. Right? I got to tell you, Floyd... If you're going to have rematches against guys like Marcus Maidana, I'd personally rather have you in the ring against Manny Pacquiao. Keep in mind, too, Mayweather has belts in two weight classes. They're guys at 154 pounds that Floyd could be fighting. And so for Floyd to pick a guy who really, if you look at the last eight rounds of the first fight, Floyd wins at least seven of the eight rounds. When you look at the body work, folks, it's, it's a massacre. 
right? It's an uncompetitive fight. Even the early rounds are an optical illusion. Look at Floyd's defense. Floyd's never dazed, buzzed by Marcus Maidana. We don't see Floyd's head snapping. We don't see Floyd doubled over. No, Floyd's blocking the shots. So view this fight as a fight really for, you know, banking account purposes. This is a payday for Floyd. That's about it. We know he should be in the ring with other guys. Timothy Bradley, what about him? Carlos Molina at 154 pounds. What about him? James Kirkland at 154 pounds. What about him? Humorous. Give us competitive fights. Frankly, Floyd has enough juice. He's such a cash cow that if Floyd wanted, he could literally interrupt the Sean Porter, Kell Brook fight and say, do either of you guys want to fight me next? Right? Understand, a Mayweather fight, Mayweather's making over $30 million. He could pay step aside money. Also, the opponent in that fight, let's say Floyd were to say, Sean Porter, I just saw you beat Paulie Malignaggi after beating Devin Alexander. I want you next, right? And Kell Brook, to you, I'll pay you seven figures of step-aside money, and I'll take you on after I take on Sean Porter. That would tear things up for the fans we would know Floyd's the man. The idea was that Floyd would be taking on all comers, and even there, the question would remain, why isn't he fighting Keith Thurman? But to fight Marcus Maidana next, come on. That's not, <laughs> that's, that's not serious. Doesn't Manny Pacquiao have a belt at 147 pounds? If you're going to give a return fight to a guy, Shouldn't the guy have done better than Marcus Maidana did in the original fight? Let me just say, too, I was here online reading on some websites. They were saying, give Floyd credit for taking on such a tough opponent. you got to be kidding me. He's already taken on and beaten this opponent. If he wants to charge us the kind of money that's required so he can net over $30 million from a fight, we the fans should demand more than this right as I said before just kill the volume look at the body work that Floyd lays down over the last eight rounds of the fight right the rematch is gonna be even easier than that what exactly is it that people feel Marcus Maidana did well in that first fight I think people are cheering the fact that Marcus Maidana has a gunslinger persona and isn't intimidated by Floyd. Great, he's not intimidated by Floyd. He doesn't have Floyd's talent. He doesn't have Floyd's skill. Simply put, he doesn't belong in the ring with Floyd Mayweather for a rematch. So, we'll pretend this orange thing's a red flag. I'm throwing a red flag on this fight. Floyd, you owe all of us a real fight if you want 30 million of our dollars. Right? We'll give a champion one free fight here. But the next fight better be against Keith Thurman, Manny Pacquiao, or the winner of Kell Brook and um, Sean Porter or Amir Khan, right? Has to be one of those guys. Let me also go a little deeper here and get off road just for one second. I see that Al Heyman, Floyd's manager, recently signed a guy who, in my opinion, would give Floyd all he can handle. Even more so than Amir Khan. And that's one of boxing's most underrated fighters. It is the lightweight champion, Miguel Vasquez. Right now, I understand a lot of people here are saying, who's Miguel Vasquez? Fair enough. He's real. He'd give Floyd all he can handle. He's tall, he has a jab. It's one of boxing's best. He has legs. And if Floyd gets inside, Miguel Vasquez can handle himself inside. 
right? So all I'm saying is, I know that everyone's suing everyone in boxing. I know we have different countries in boxing, right? There's the golden boy country. There's the top rank country. There's the main events country. Okay, fair enough, right? I understand some fighters have promotional agreements. Some fighters don't. Some fighters are with this manager. Some fighters are with that manager. Fair enough. There's no excuse for Floyd not to fight at least Miguel Vasquez in his next fight, right? Floyd should be trying to give the public the best fights possible since he's getting paid $30 million per fight. We want real fights. We don't want fights like this against overmatched opponents who are living off casual fan folklore right so as I said after this layup Floyd needs to fight someone real this next fight against Marcus Maidana is not it I like Mayweather in this fight I'll even go further and say take Mayweather to win with a small kicker on Mayweather by KO he hit Marcus Maidana with the kitchen sink. If you rewatch the first fight, you're going to see that the guy who quite frankly landed the cleaner, harder punches was actually Floyd Mayweather. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for stopping by.